G'day guys, how are we? Um, yeah. So, I'm not crash hot at making videos. I'm showing my face, you know, cause hey, this is me. Um, but, haven't done a video in a while. And, you know, I like my wood carving. I came across this wood, it's Australian spotted gum, I do believe. It's gnarly hardwood. And I struggled to prepare it with um, my record stay set cast iron hand plane. But luckily, hold on a second. This thing um, that I made, it's, I think it's 10 and a half inches. It's got a, a standard record and back iron blade in it because that's what I had so I just used it to make this I'm running it with a 60 degree um, blade bed angle this got me out of trouble with the hardwood I think it's the angle of attack as opposed to a 45 degree in a standard cast iron hand plane this is a 60 degree um, angle angle it's it's the bed that's seated at 60 degrees and and all this through here is solid like there's there's no movement whereas your cast iron hand plane that the the excellent on on the vast majority of woods but the frog it's it's held in by by two screws and I guess that must have just been chat chatting chattering you know like on this on this hardwood here anyway this got me out of trouble I have modified it so when I did first make it of in the mouth here of I've, I've done a, a hardwood dowel through there um, I did have I did have a different wedging system on on the sides here but but they came apart like I've made this hand plane the new school way. I haven't made it out of a solid piece of of wood of of made components and and put it together. I have um yeah, done done bits and pieces to the wedge here just to you know help help seat it at the right height so it doesn't go too far down to the mouth. The mouth of of opened up to seven mil. Like um, you know they talk about um. Ah, uh, yeah, they talk about like tear out. Yeah, that's the word tear out. But I couldn't care about tear out. I um, so I opened it up to to seven mil, and that just allows it not to get clogged so easily so quickly. Also the 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 front of the mouth of of tried to scoop out material from the inside so that when it fills up um, it's just not going to get clogged as quickly so I made this hand plane out of, out of scrap wood and I've, I've made a series of mistakes as you can see here um, just trying to get the the wedge in the um, well the the through dowel the through hardwood dowel in the correct position yeah and and at this last position I have stuffed up but um, on the inside of this hardwood dowel well I don't know if you'd be able to see it on the video um, on the camera but I've, I've made a flat spot so that the wedge meets the the flat spot but it's still um, wedging itself in there nicely and with it being a round dowel um, that's that's not fixed so so um, that that's just gonna wedge itself nicely every time you put that wedge in which is what you want um, so with this handle here it's from here to here running through that center 
is 60 degrees. Go check out Terry Gordon at HNT Gordon and he's got a few videos on you know geometry and his hand planes. He's he's the man. He's he's a master at making hand planes. Um the reason why I'm not running HNT Gordon hand planes, well um he does use 55 and 60 degree angles but i just wanted an, a full old school um system and whereas he's got the norris adjustment which is which is beautiful but what i found i needed a wide mouth because i'm just churning out material you know quickly and i, I just want to yeah um my hand planes are set from from start to finish I think other hand planes are set for for just the refining work after it's been through machinery like thicknesses, planers, and jointers, and you know whatnot. But but here I am. I just use hand tools. I do use a circular saw, and that that gets me out of trouble. That that helps me to like machine the bulk. But then it's just all hand plane from there. Of I'm not running hand planes and thicknesses and, and buzzers and jointers and whatnot just because I got fed up with them um, getting blunt all the time and yeah but anyway that's my hand plane this got me out of trouble although in saying that the, the record cast iron hand planes and the Stanley hand planes and the Lee Nielsen hand planes are, are beautiful hand planes and are fantastic for the majority, the vast majority, if not 99% of woods. Yeah, um, I'm just saying that this one, I'm glad I have it. Yep. So, uh, wood carving. Man, I got a job, you know, which I'm, I'm thankful for. And I got this job uh, to make this sign. Um, it's Edwardian font. I'll try and lift the camera here. To show you what um I drew it um that's that's a capital B in Edwardian font so I drew that how do you carve it so I've got um, a beginner beginner carving set of chisels so here's my gouge it's it's a little gouge I do believe it's like 20 mil uh, in width um, it says number five here I'm also using this it says number seven just here I think that's the radius um, the amount of radius at at the cutting edge here so I'm using these two it's a beginner set I'm not a master carver but you know I'm not I'm not bad at it either and what I do, um, I run flat butt chisels. So let's get started. Um, I've, I've carved out the outline, and that's good to do because it eliminates um, blowouts. So with this, with this gouge, I just go around like this. It takes time, but if you're into this sort of thing, you know, you just stick at it. Um, so I've actually just just sharpened these up, just for this video, and and uh, given them a polish. Um, I run a, at the moment I, I'm not using a water cooled sharpening system. Um, I'm I'm using a dry bench grinder slow speed but but these gouges I I just sharpen up by hand and there are YouTube videos on how to do that but with with my butt chisels so if you can see that um, yeah there it is I love I'm, I'm a huge fan of of the hollow grind and I do that on my dry grinder my my slow speed dry bench grinder um, it sucks because 
they overheat quickly you got to have like that tin of water and and it's best to do two chisels at once so you can like cool one down and and while it's cooling you you do you know you do another one until it heats up and you, and then you exchange you just dunk it back in the water and stuff okay so so with this chisel with this gouge I should I should say um, I'm just gouging like I am a self-taught woodcarver so um, you know I haven't been to uni to learn how to do it or anything so this is 8 mil just a, a flat 8 mil um, I've got a beginner set of carving chisels and I don't use all of them I've got a set of 12 carving chisels um, the thing is this these carving chisels are soft and so they they blunten super quick which isn't you know pretty that's it's not rad but I just knit like probably prefer to use the shape of the gouge you can do it with all flats but you know it just takes a bit longer if you if you get just gonna run flats like this around a curve like that can be done I haven't done it for a long time but yeah anyway so I haven't made a video for for a little while and lengthy videos people can get, can get bored with and stuff but um I'll just show you how I do this and and I just work away at it until I'm happy with how it looks so I'm just going to switch out this. This is, I think I said, uh, 20 mil in width. Uh, it might be 25. I'm not going to measure it. You know, it's just whatever. And this one here, I'm just switching now. My last video. I talked in depth of my record five and a half stay set and why I'm not using the stay set back iron um, I'm still not using it just because I sharpen heaps and I'm, I'm at my bench grinder making my hollow ground grinding angle you know just to just to keep the time on the sharpening stone by hand at a minimum time so you're not overworking yourself with sharpening I don't make videos you know to become to get heaps of views and stuff because yeah I'm just not really into tech but yeah I'm thankful I have work like another job besides this I'd love to do this full time but I mean yeah there's there's not the demand out there unfortunately So I'll just finish this little section and, and this is how I carve curves and then I'll show you but C19 I'm, th I'm 38 years old and C19 you know as controversial as it is I'm not going to go into it um, but yeah 
I, I started doing my childhood hobbies, which is, you know, riding a BMX bike, skateboarding and, and playing the guitar. And I'm, I'm thankful for skateboarding. I'm thankful for a BMX kid's bike. And, and the guitar kind of just, someone said to me that, that music is the remedy. And you know, you listen to, to music, whatever type of music you, you like, and it just puts you in a good headspace. And so music is the remedy, so, so either go, go play it, go listen to it. And you know, because you, you gotta keep yourself above the mire that, that the world wants you to sink in. Okay. So this is done. With my BMX bike, I, I deliver junk mail and I, I ride my BMX bike. And, and I love riding the bike around the neighborhood. With my skateboard, um, yeah, I've, I've got a few custom setups, but I love the old school wide, wide decks. And I, I just, I just cruise, you know, I don't do, I don't skate straight. And the guitar, man, I'm actually just, I, I was listening to Alan Jackson gospel and that, that spoke to me and, and what I'm learning is just, um, you know, this, this might sound pretty, pretty lame, pretty old school, but I'm actually just learning hymns because they put me in a good headspace and you gotta you gotta do like what I said earlier whatever you gotta do to keep yourself in a good headspace and and stay above the mire that this world is trying to sink you down into okay so so this section is nearly done and this is how I I carve Um, curves straight letters like T's like I's like H's are super easy because you can just use these okay so I'll lift this up and I'll show you so where my finger is that's where I've been working and you can see the overall um, Edwardian font capital B so this is the top section. I've done that with the, the gouge. This edge here, excuse me. So, yeah, excuse me. Um, so this outside edge here, I've done with the gouge. On the inside edge, excuse me again, please. So on the inside edge, Uh, yeah, it's the angle of the camera and stuff. Just been eating away at it with a flat chisel. Okay. I'm not really good at this, but hey, I'll, I'll show my face. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll end the video and just carry on. But yeah, I thought, hey, I'll make a quick video. Um... Because I'm, I'm back at the workbench again, wood carving. It's, it's hard because I'm working, I've got a family, and yeah, it's hard to fit in time for this. Um, but it's, it's probably what I like to do. So hey, have a good day and enjoy whatever you do. And um, yeah, that's how I do my wood carving. Thanks, thanks for watching guys. See ya.